saying good morning, guys, because to me it's still morning. What a rough night. Ugh. Yes, you didn't even come to bed. I didn't. Last night's edit, which at the end you guys might notice that I just kind of started letting things go. I was falling asleep editing and <laughs> ended up falling asleep on the couch in the office. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to the vlog. We have been to the estate sale. We got the television. Is that not freaking badass or what? Oh, did you talk about it? Uh, yesterday I mentioned it, yeah. I haven't seen the vlog yet because we've been out. That's okay. I haven't seen the vlog either. We got this little thing here. Creepy. Yeah, it's like a dollar, you know. I'm surprised they just didn't throw that in. Yeah, I know, because he was like, oh, you know, it's a, kind of tore apart. It's not painted or anything like that. And look at this. This is a whiskey bottle, but take off the little whiskey label. Perfect, like, freaking potion bottle. I love that. More stuff from storage. Right, Troy? Huh, what? More stuff from storage? What? Stuff. From storage? Storage. Yes. <laughs> you want to do introductions? This is Austin. Hopefully you're gonna be acting in the hot, right? Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully. That'd be nice. <laughs> if anything else. He's every type of company. Obviously it's a giant lurch type person, right? Well that would be cool. <laughs> um words and stuff? Um <laughs> <laughs> I, I I think it'll stay. What do you, you guys sure think? You want me to you stand know, back there and go like this? <laughs> in the back? Nah. No? Nah. It's just gonna get torn apart anyway, but I don't want it to get torn apart on top of somebody's car. That would suck. Yeah. <laughs> Are you cheating on me? Yes, I'm leaving you. This is my new man. Wow. <laughs> How wrong. Seems a little anorexic. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I... if you're a girl, you like him bony. <laughs> wow. <laughs> As far as the the midday update or whatever, we've been moving like hella furniture, and I, I you guys haven't seen this. My fingers on crack. I mean, literally, my fingers on crack. You put your finger in your crack? No. It sucks and it hurts. You put your finger in crack and you're bending something? <laughs> wow, really? Wow. TMI. What are you getting yourself into? <laughs> uh, parents here. I'm not sure if you guys have seen Parent or not. You might have seen him walking them by in a, a side shot. But Perrin was able to get all the wood taken apart for the, uh, actually, uh, Austin helped him a little bit too for from the Freddy fence because Freddy fence is gone. Just about all the furniture from underneath the carport is gone. All we've got are these two rocking chairs and the monster in the box. Monster in the box is going to get put in the storage area. Um, this stuff, um, our personal stuff, is going to get put into storage just temporarily until Halloween's over and we do the whole switcheroo thing again. So we've gotten a lot accomplished today. I'm so happy uh, There's still a crap ton more stuff to do, but I just want to give you guys like another little update of what's going on So when was the last time you guys saw underneath the carport this freaking clean? This is awesome. And look my trucks actually backed up further than it usually is so this was accomplished today all the big furniture everything has been moved into the haunt all the big stuff from storage has been moved into the haunt. The next step is going to be to move most of the panels out front and to build the concession place here uh, because it has to be roofed, it has to be dry. Got the monster in the box. And uh, we're going to start from the beginning of the haunt and go through. And Lori Lee and I are doing this. She made the suggestion while it's light outside um, just so that we can show you guys a little bit more and more detail of what has been accomplished today. The first thing is Austin went and die grinded, die ground all the screws that from the pictures we've been hanging, everything like that. He took care of this whole wall and egress and the back of the study. So the next step is going to be to come in here and start in here doing that same thing. Starting from the beginning. This is so exciting. So much crap got done. Not crap. Hard work. Well, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> That, that, that A needs to be a little bit more pronounced because it looks like Potter. Yeah, but that, that's for Dana because, you know, Charlotte has to have somewhere where she's getting the cat pee to give her guests. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. But see, have you shown what my vines look like during the day? Oh, during the day, no, I haven't. See? I think it looks cool going up around the window and stuff. And guys, at night, this looks better than what you can see because of the shadowing. 
So really awesome stuff there. And I still have, you know, coats that I need to hang here, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to take them out of the bag because I don't want them to get all icky. Yeah, well, let's go over stuff that we got done. Yeah, so you guys see this on both walls. Yep, BTDT. <laughs> <laughs> Been there, done that. This hung a couple more pictures. I'm still going to do more in this hallway. Um, but here, I got a lot done in the study today. See? Yep, got that. I put the little spider there. I thought it was cute. And this is pretty much the placement of the furniture. And I put Hellmouth skull over here. <laughs> <laughs> In case you guys didn't know it, this is what the Hellmouth uh, is like mocked after, I guess, designed after. I figured the best place for it was to study. Little known fact, really quickly, the intro that was done by High Res Designs, the skull, he got from a picture um, from my skull fountain that I made. <laughs> so that's how that intro and everything came to be. So we got the clock, which scared Lori Lee because it's kind of, it started going off. It came in here, it started going off by itself, I'm like, uh, Troy! <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's a wind-up clock, and it's been in storage for a year, so figure that one out. We found this this at the estate sale today. Yeah. It's just like a little paper mache something. I liked it because it was just creepy looking. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, and we'll we'll get some blood and put it down for the red rum. Here's the typewriter, and I set up the little thing here. Nice. Yeah. And this is a box of staples we got today too that were free, and it's so funny because they're just old, so officey. And I put the shelf up all by myself. <laughs> See pictures. Oh yeah. Which bottle? I figured it would be a good place for it. I got the other one up over there. And I put the other reindeer antlers up there. Oddities. <laughs> Oddities, yeah. Where has she been? I don't know. Where Where's Oddities been? Uh, she she was the one that gave us the, uh, the reindeer antlers down at West Coast. Yeah. So I wanted to put those up here. Cause I'm, you know, everything that everybody gave us, I want to make sure it's part of the haunt. This isn't done yet, so we've got this stuff around here, and the books from last year, and the crate, and the bird cage with the scary bird inside. Ah. And then I put this dude at the end of the hallway, <laughs> and then it goes that way. Okay. Oh, there's Dana Abbott's lights that he gave us that are going to end up getting put into the fire pit. <laughs> that, that's my guy. That's her scary dude. <laughs> and we have one piece of clothing hung up. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a scary dog. Um, this room here is pretty much done. Lori Lee went and put this stuff up. And yeah, I still have a, you know, a few more things. I'm going to put the dolls, you know, and everything like that. Hold on. I'm going to put this right here. Okay. Were you going to paint the back of this closet black? I think so. Okay. So these are the shutter doors from last year, and I just kept them on the frame. I was going to take them off, and Lori Lee was like, why not? Or leave it on and give it definition. So I'm like, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah, see how it gives it definition? You know, it's just like, here's our closet. Okay. We got these old lady clothes at the estate sale. Okay. And then, you know, I put some more stuff up on the walls. And this is, you know, everything that still has to get done. But I decorated the little table here. You know, it's nice and old lady-ish. And then it's kind of a mess in here. Dog, go. Get. I didn't vlog it yesterday, guys, but that's the towel rack that I put up last night. We're going to put bloody towels on it. Yeah. Then from the bathroom, we come into the living room. Clock's on the wall. Got the couch. See, the love seat. The, table. the TV. So that's more stuff to do. Coffee table. Piano's going to be in this corner with the lights that Dana Abbott gave us too. So freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, I love how everybody's a part of this haunt. That is so cool. It's like you walk in each room and there's something that everybody did. Dining room. So you guys have seen the table and of course the light fixture up above. Uh, this drop panel is not going to work this year. It's, I don't know where Keith's at and it's way too rickety. So we're just going to use it. It's going to make it look like a makeshift uh, china cap. Yeah. And then these curtains and everything are going to go up here. Probably have somebody behind them. And then we've got the stereo that I still have to take care of. we got this in here. Oh my gosh, this is such a pain that has to get in here. It's so heavy. Just, Chair, doily. Yeah, I put the little things up on the wall. It's more stuff. 
Um, still have to uh, finish the closet there. I was wanting to Pantry. Bring, uh, brains and all that stuff. But I got that thing fixed here. Got a few more things hung up. Yep. Um, in here, down the basement, got all the skeletons brought in. Got the uh, boiler or whatever in the corner. Hold on a second. There, so you got the tube looking like a chimney going out. Uh, so that's going to be kind of cool. And pretty much that's it because the solarium, the solarium hasn't changed, right? No, I haven't changed anything in the solarium. So, um, I can't see where I'm going right now because the light is like shining in my eyes. Here, I'll go oh. for you. Okay. You have to go to the little maze. I just hope when people come through, they don't... Tickle plants! Ah! They don't knock it all over the place. Oh, they will. You know, I'm going to have to keep running through They're checking. Well, that, that'll kind of be the actor's job, too. Although, if you're an actor, you're... Sorry, wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I started talking to the cell phone. If you're an actor in, a, in, a, in the ghillie suit, then you're not going to be able to go through there and, like make it through the plants before somebody else gets through. So there is going to have to be somebody in charge of every once in a while going through and taking a look at things, make sure everything's right. Anyway, guys, I'm not sure how much more vlog because that right there was the walkthrough of the whole back haunt, and it's taken just about eight minutes. So you figure with people going through, I'm figuring about a 10-minute, 10, 10 to 15-minute haunt here in the back. Well, look, I mean, that's not really a good timing either because we, we were stopping and we are showing... Um, details so yeah but people are apprehensive they don't go through through things fast unless they just run but they don't know where they're going so they need to stop and look yeah so anyway, that's the haunt that's what we did today oh oh other things that were done today not to downplay anything Austin went and put a uh, plastic for the room partition up above and Perrin went and patched the roof also in places where the stupid cat has has clawed through so there we go. We're going to stop talking. Yes. And thank you very much to Austin and Perrin for helping us all that all the help that they gave us today. We couldn't have done it without you. There is no small task. Every small task adds to the big picture. So yeah. much appreciated. All right, guys. So I told you I would do this yesterday. Um, a huge shout out to Richard S. from Winfield, Kansas. Thank you so much. He sent this freaking awesome... Uh, pneumatic cylinder for the prop car and I figured a big knife for a big cylinder. Should I be scared? Yes. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Okay, so the story on this is that, and I believe that I'm correct, at his work, oh cool, fittings also, well that scared me. Mika pushed the box and pushed up against my leg and it moved and I'm like, huh. <laughs> um, at his work, they had a machine that they were getting rid of, and so he robbed it of the cylinder. This is a, a double acting, or excuse me, yes, a double acting cylinder. <laughs> <laughs> Makeup. Shh, quiet. Bed. <laughs> so, anyway, very awesome. Thank you very much. So, we are both worn out, and I'm worn out, so I know that the person carrying my spawn is also, like, completely drained. Completely. But she kicked ass. Everybody did today. It was plus so much I, fun. Plus, I made um, flyers to hand out on campus, or put on bulletin boards on campus, and I also did my homework. Um, I had to clean up a little bit around the house, too. Do you want to jump into cock? We're just going to jump into cock. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Magic Unlimited. In the basement, hang a bunch of fishing line down from the ceiling so it brushes against people's face. I think you should do it in the basement rather than the solarium. In the solarium, there's already stuff hanging down, so I agree with you on that. Um, I don't like using fishing line because if it gets caught on somebody and somebody goes to bat at it, um, it could, like, cut in between their fingers. Um, so what we do is, or what we're going to do this year is we're going to use the webcaster gun, which will break out here next two weeks or so yeah probably about two weeks and uh when you do the web casting gun you just put webs all around and they feel like real spider webs so it's something that you have to redo like every night but it'll still have a really awesome effect yes yes and everybody all of a sudden becomes a karate expert <laughs> <laughs> goth dj so when you take out older stuff for the haunt 
from storage, do you get a sort of giddy feeling like seeing old friends? I really do. What are you talking about? He goes to storage just to visit that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> How tall is Austin? 6'9". Okay. Because we never said that today at all. Austin is 6 feet 9 inches, which is awesome. A perfect person for the beginning of the haunt, um, the facade. And he said it himself. I'm super, I wasn't there. I didn't hear him when you gave introductions. He called himself Lurch. He said everybody needs a Lurch. So I'm like, that's freaking awesome. Ramath Tall. Did you know the actor, a.k.a. puppeteer, that did the count and the voice for him passed away a couple weeks ago? I did not know that. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, we all live. We all die. <laughs> and furnace does work, but you can also refer to it as a boiler. I think that's what I was going yeah. for. I couldn't remember. Yeah, that's what I was that's what I was thinking of, sorry. As to looking for things in the haunt, and he's referring to what I said yesterday about if you guys have sent us something or given us a suggestion, actually seeing that come to life in the haunt. You're right. Every time you do a walkthrough of the haunt this year, I keep looking over condom hall and the bathroom, LOL. No comment from the peanut gallery, please. And well, it's not a condom hall anymore. Now it's say Now it's completely picture. decorated from one end to the other. Yes, and looking pretty dang good. Thank you. And thanks to you too, Ram. <laughs> Columbia Manor Haunted House. Sorry. Wow, what a nice little vacation-ish time. All those extra hours to work on the haunt. And no rest. You know, if I could do this all the time, number one, I'd be getting more rest. Because I'd be doing it all the time. Yeah, and maybe, one, maybe you would actually come to bed at night. Oh. That would be lonely. I'd be happier too, because I'd be like happy with my job. Anyway. Awoke a nightmare. Love how the number of trick-or-treaters increases every year. How many trick-or-treaters are you hoping to get this year? It's not... We don't really get trick-or-treaters. We get kind of patrons that come to see the haunted house. The first two years that I did the haunt, I offered glow sticks and candy for the first hundred plus people or kids. And I've stopped doing that simply because they get the treat. Actually, no, the, 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 the trick is the treat. Last year, I did get a little bit of candy because some people dropped theirs. But, you know, that's part of payment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, but if anybody wants to donate candy to us, <laughs> uh, they can... No, no. I love candy corn. <laughs> yeah, and I like gummies. <laughs> wow. Um... The other question is, is last year we had 662 people go through. Um, this year I'm looking to maybe possibly double that because that's been the trend. So we'll see. <laughs> you guys have no idea. I'm over here yawning. My eyes are closed. I'm just watching you because I'm like, okay, he's going to fall asleep. Ow. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Next fan 23. Wow, really deep hole. How did he dig that deep? Keith had a chip on his shoulder when he came to dig that hole, so he was letting out aggression, and he just dug the dang hole. That's how it got that deep. But it's good, because we need it. <laughs> ABC Noise 2. Lori Lee, stay hydrated to help the Braxton Hicks. Oh, I've been trying. Let me tell you what. Laid me out a few times today. Remember, Milbourne Manor operated on an iPod and Xmas Lite remotes for quite a while. Phoenix wants to be a haunter. He's trying to beat his way into this crazy life. <laughs> but not right now. <laughs> <laughs> you have to wait until finals are over. You hear me? Don't make me come in there. You know, whatever works, you know, you use. Whether it's a pro haunt or not. Um, you know, using fancier lighting and everything, that's just to get, like, a better effect and have it be easier, usually. But sometimes in making things easier, it makes it more complicated. Now she's the one sleeping. Uh, Wake up. Fantoro. I think in a few years, you might have a whole cement backyard. <laughs> By the way, I've had the same thing happen to me. Troy, A whole get... cement backyard? I know, a whole cement backyard. Is that what you happened to me? <laughs> Troy, with the electrical outlet at the... Oh, the electrical outlet. I've had the same thing happen to me with the electrical outlet at Screamworks in one of the houses. Silly fake things. <laughs> I love it because it's like faking them out and stuff. I love you guys, but I'm tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. 
Eileen Norris, Troy, norm normally people put their skeletons away, not bring them out in the open. <laughs> Either that or they were jealous, laugh out loud. I actually think that they were, um, that they understood after a while that the, hopefully they drew a conclusion that they weren't real. Wouldn't that be creepy? Some dude keeping, like, s skeletons, I mean, real skeletons in his storage. Uh, How do you guys know they're not real, huh? What? Uh, now I'm even more scared. <laughs> <laughs> Queen Ruby, maybe Phoenix is planning to be born on Halloween. <laughs> no. Oh, that would be bad. But I want to say thank you to Austin and Perrin for all the outstanding help that we got today. Couldn't have done it without you. Um, can't wait to get the rest of the place together. It's going awesome, and I, I think we're moving along pretty well. Yes. Yeah. So thank you guys. Out of here. Love you guys. Happy haunting. See you tomorrow. Wow, you're so thrilled. I'm freaking tired. Leave me alone. Happy haunting. You want more? Come back for seconds tomorrow! Ah!